Just to give you some basic info on the set itself, it came out in 2020, so only four years ago, but four years, pretty long time, but 3,000 boxes made, not that many at all by any means compared to some of their other products from Rittenhouse Cards. They have Rittenhouse, if you didn't know Rittenhouse, produced this product. And the thing I like about Rittenhouse Cards, and I know that it's 3,000, is because on all of their products, the, the seal on the actual box, it acts as the seal, but it'll, it'll have on there give you an example 1300 of 3000 so in this case there's only 3000 boxes made i'll try and throw it up on the screen if i can find a clear picture but yeah i love that about red house cards i like how they're transparent with actually how many boxes are produced which is nice but in each box there's 24 packs with five cards per pack and two hits per box which is awesome one of those being guaranteed to be an autograph and the second hit is either another autograph a sketch card or a relic card so yeah that's just some basic info on the set now we're going to get into the actual cards itself with this set you're going to have a 63 card base set which is kind of an odd number but it is what it is what are you going to do i'm not a fan of them but if you're a fan of the show and you co like collecting cards or you like going for sets you might have a chance at enjoying this because there, there are no character cards and every single base card is going to be a scene from the show, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I kind of respect it. I don't collect them, but it is nice for, for the set collectors out there. So that's it for the base cards. Now, there's only four different basic insert sets in this trading card set. So we're going to go through those and then we'll move on to the actual hits of the box. So starting out, we have the seven then and now umbrella academy cards i'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm not gonna try i am i'm gonna throw up pictures on the screen odds of getting them you know you know whatever i can find i'm gonna throw it up on the screen but yeah we have the seven then and now umbrella academy cards these are one in every 24 packs you get one per box essentially it's just younger versions of the umbrella academy and i believe if you've seen the show most of the pictures on the cards are from the first heist in the show outside of the bank i think that's where it's from but to correct me if i'm wrong obviously vanya wasn't there so hers is going to be somewhere else but yeah, you got all those there and then the second insert set we have the heist at the museum cards there's also seven of these in this set but i think these are the best looking cards or the best looking inserts in this set because it's kind of got the art feel to it uh and it's it's I don't know. I just think they look nice, to be honest with you. Let me know what you think down below, what your favorite insert is from this set. But yeah, I think these look nice. You also get one per box, so they're one every 24 packs. That's nice. And then moving on, we have Acetate Starring Character Cards. Now, these are actually one in every other box, so they're one in every 48 packs. Essentially, it's the older version of the Umbrella Academy, but it's an Acetate card. And yeah, that, that's essentially all it is. You can see it on the screen. Oh, also there's there's nine of these, and then you have you have the the Umbrella Academy, which is seven of them, and then you have Hazel and Cha Cha. So <laughs> those are pretty good characters. I'm not gonna lie, especially if you watch the show. Love Hazel and Cha Cha. And then moving on to the final basic insert set, we have the quotable Umbrella Academy cards. There are twelve of these in this set, with one in every twenty four packs. So you get one per box as well. But these also look nice. I'm not gonna lie. You got the comic book art style to it with essentially most of the main characters, if not all the main characters from season one. You, you have the, the Umbrella Academy. You got Reginald, Pogo, Grace, Cha-Cha, Hazel. Yeah, essentially all of them. So another nice looking set to be honest with you. But yeah, that is it for the basic inserts. Now we're gonna move on to the actual hits of the box. On to my favorite part of this product, the hit inserts. So there's three different hits you can get. You got relics, you got autographs, and you have sketch cards. We're going to start with the relic cards. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a screenshot up on the screen so you guys can see what the what Rittenhouse's website looks like and, and how they kind of sort it out here. So they really, there's no numbered cards in the set, but what they do is they have different categories for how rare an insert is. So like I said, I'm going to try, I'm going to throw, throw the screenshot up there so you can see it. But with the relic cards in the set, you have very limited, extremely limited and scarce. Now very limited, there's only 200 to 300 copies. It could be in between there, 200, 300 or in between, and then extremely limited, same thing, but 
with 100 to 200 copies and then scarce which is the rarest of the rare you have 100 or less copies so keep that in mind but there are 14 different relic cards in here most of them are going to be pieces of clothing from the umbrella academy but there's also some interesting ones i'll try and throw up screenshots of whatever i can find but the interesting ones that which honestly <laughs> I wouldn't mind having them in my collection because they're just, you probably wouldn't see them often. But the two scarce ones, you have number five's time travel calculation notes. And the other scarce one is Hazel and Cha-Cha's termination letters. I mean, those are just oddball cards. <laughs> and especially if you're a fan of the show, that's just sick. And if you collect cards, that's just sick. I would love to have some of these cards in my collection, especially the time travel notes. But yeah, other ones, other interesting ones. You got Vanya sheet music. You have Luther's space boy poster. I mean, there's just some interesting ones in here. And then the rest of them are, most of them are going to be, you know, just pieces of clothing from, from the actors. But yeah, that's it for the relic cards. Now on to the autographs. So there's 29 different autographs. All of them are full bleed autographs. So there's no bordered or you really only have full bleed autographs and then I guess you can kind of say the dual autographs are full bleed as well, but I don't know. Now, all of the characters from the show, all of the all the big characters from season one, they have autographs in here. You have Klaus, all the all, every single Umbrella Academy character or hero, whatever you want to call them, they have autographs in here. You got. While I'm editing this, I realized that Luther does not have autographs in season one. That's on me. So the only two autographs you can't get in season one are Cha-Cha and Luther. Vanya, Klaus, Allison, Ben, number five. You have Reginald. You have the younger versions of the Umbrella Academy. So you got all the young, you got young Klaus, young Luther, young Ben. You have Reginald has an autograph in here. Grace has an autograph in here. Agnes hazel the only person that doesn't have an autograph is cha-cha so if you're looking for autographs she does not have autographs in here which kind of sucks but hazel is in here so that's cool and then they also have dual autographs in here with three of them being scarce so the scarce ones you have reginald and grace you have young klaus and young ben and then you have young allison and young luther so if you see dual autographs of those those are scarce rare autographs so yeah, you have those. And then the other tool, the other two dual autographs they have, they have Hazel and Agnes. The, the ones I think I want to say they fell in love. I think that's what happened. I have to, I haven't seen season one in forever, but I think they fell in love and they have a dual autograph in here. And then you have a Klaus and uh, I don't know his name in the show, but yeah, Klaus has a dual autograph in here as well. But if you're looking for any specific character autograph, they're gonna have it in here except Cha-Cha. So that's it for the autographs. Now, moving on to by far, probably I'd probably rank the sketch cards over autographs for me, just based on values and rarity. And I just, I'm a massive fan of sketch cards, especially the ones in the set. The ones in the set, they look beautiful. If you go on eBay, look, just look up Umbrella Academy sketch cards, beautiful. Now, there's only, it's weird because on the website it has 10 different sketch cards but there's way more than 10 different sketch cards there's only 10 different artists so keep that in mind i believe each artist is going to have a couple different sketch cards in the set but the thing with sketch cards is that there are one in every 576 packs so i don't know what the math is on that but there can't be that many considering there's only 3,000 boxes so I'm not, maybe I'll do the math on that, throw it up on the screen to kind of calculate exactly how many sketch cards there are. But yeah, I think they're beautiful from the set. The artist did a perfect job on those. So yeah, let me know if you think the artwork is good. If you're a sketch card fan as well, let me know because I'm a massive sketch card fan. But that is it for all the hits. But there are some other incentive cards that you could buy. I don't think you can't really... You're gonna have to buy them on eBay at this point. You can't, you can't get them from the distributor. But the thing with Rittenhouse cards is they have 
case incentives. So if you buy a certain amount of cases from Rittenhouse, you get a, I guess a case topper, I guess you could say. But with this set, there's a six case incentive and a nine case in incentive. So if you buy, if you bought six cases, the incentive that they had was a number five relic auto, which is absolutely insane. And if you go on eBay, you probably buy this card for 120 bucks. So not a super expensive card, but nonetheless, a very sick card if you are a fan of the show. That's the six case incentive card. And for the nine case one, you have a dual autograph of Vanya and Allison. So, and you could tell that if you go on eBay and look up these cards, you can tell it's a case incentive card, unless the, the person that acquired it first took the seal off. But on those, on the case incentive cards, it'll be in a top loader with a gold seal on top of it, keeping it in there. So just keep that in mind. If you, if you see a card with a gold seal on it, that means it's a case incentive card. So keep that in mind. But that is essentially every single card that you can get from this set let me know down below what you guys think if you would open this now keep in mind the this is going to be my last thing and then that'll be the end of the video but i looked on ebay for boxes for sale and you could buy a box on ebay for 150 dollars right now but i don't think that's worth it to be honest with you the best autograph in the set value wise i think i looked is vanya the full bleed vanya and i think you could buy that for around 150 bucks so if it, chances are you're not going to get the vanya so it there really isn't a point to open up the box unless you're hunting for a sketch card because the sketch cards are what's going to bring the value i looked on ebay again for for, for sketch cards most of the most if not all of them are over 170 dollars by now and I don't think there's any sales on it so maybe they're a little too expensive but yeah 150 bucks uh, maybe if, if you've found a found a box for sale for maybe a hundred dollars that's probably more reasonable but yeah definitely not 150 dollars way too much i wouldn't buy that if i were you but yeah that's that's essentially it so let me know what you guys think if you took something of value from this video let me know down below if you're a fan of the show if you hated season four anything so that's it thank you guys for watching stay tuned till next video Bye.